Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about sampling error and sampling bias which comes under Unit 5 that is sampling and sampling process. This is my part 4 video. Already I have posted many videos with related to sampling process and various types of sampling like probability sampling methods and non-probability sampling methods. If you have not watched those videos, I have given the link of nursing research and statistics statistics playlist in the description box suggested end card and i card before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video that is sampling error and sampling bias sampling error it is the deviation of the selected sample from the true characteristic traits behavior qualities or figures of the entire population so here uh, how much ever conscious you are selecting the samples also there are ch some chances of sampling error that the selected sample have been deviated from the ca what characteristics what traits behavior qualities or figures you are taking from the entire population so this deviation is referred to as what sampling error reason for sampling error researchers draw different subjects from the same population but in every individual is different each individual has the their own individual difference so how much ever conscious you are selecting from the same population also the subjects are different personally so because of this individual difference there may be a chances of sampling error biased sampling procedure so the researcher bias or sampling bias will be there when you are doing the sampling procedure chance or randomization so by chance you have taken or by randomization you have taken so every thing uh, can uh lead to this sampling error and systematic error systematically you are uh, selecting the samples means also there may be chances for error so this comes under what sampling error reasons sampling bias it is tendency to favor a selection of sampling units that possess particular characteristics so you are taking samples based on particular characteristics but uh, in spite of that also you may have that uh, sampling bias so types are self-selection bias exclusion bias and healthy user bias so these are the types of sampling bias self-selection bias exclusion bias and healthy user bias self-selection bias when the participants in the study have some kind of control over the study to participate or not so here the participants can decide whether they can uh, participate in the study or not so this type of bias is comes under self-selection bias exclusion bias this happens when some people of the group are eliminated from the study so you have selected some uh, subjects and you are eliminating them from the uh, study thinking that they are not uh, satisfying the desired criteria so that is called as exclusion bias you yourself is thinking and you are excluding it then healthy user bias this happens when the sample selected has more likely to be healthier as compared to general population so whatever the samples you have taken they are more healthier than the general population that time also there may be chances for healthy user bias so these are all the various uh, sampling bias what are all the problems of sampling sampling errors lack of sample representativeness difficulty in estimation of sample size lack of knowledge about the sampling process lack of resources lack of cooperation lack of existing appropriate sampling frames for larger population careless casual approach of researcher towards sampling process so sampling error so when you are taking yourself there may be chances for error sampling error which we have discussed earlier in this video then lack of sample representativeness a sample should represent the general population of study suppose if you are taking hypertensive if you are doing a study on hypertension the samples what you are going to select from the population also should have hypertension suppose if you are going to select some other disease condition it is not going to represent the uh, sample what you are going to generalize the findings that is called as lack of sample representativeness next is difficulty in estimation of sample size sample size uh, estimation that is difficulty in deciding the sample size lack of knowledge about the sampling process so you may have difficulty 
in understanding how the sampling procedure and if the researcher is not uh, in a good uh, knowledge uh, to do the sampling procedure or sampling process then again it is going to affect the sampling methods then lack of resources uh, time money personal that also can affect your sampling procedure lack of cooperation from the participants or the concerned authorities also can lead to difficulty in sampling then lack of existing appropriate sampling frames for larger population for larger population it is not easy to collect the sample so you have to have a proper plan and you have to execute the plan of sampling frame then casual approach of research towards sampling process sometimes the researcher will be approaching very casually which again directly or indirectly it is going to affect your sampling process so these are all the sampling uh, problems of sampling hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and icon or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel